Hi guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the preceding video, we studied the individual benzodiazepine drugs. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of sedatives and hypnotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this lesson, we shall learn the miscellaneous agents of sedatives and hypnotics. A wide range of chemical structures, for example amides, imides, alcohols, etc. can produce sedation and hypnosis resembling those produced by the barbiturates. Despite this apparent structural diversity, the compounds have general similar structural characteristics and chemical properties, a non-polar portion and a semi-polar portion that can participate in hydrogen bonding. In some cases, modes of action are undetermined. As a working hypothesis, most of the agents can be envisioned to act by mechanisms similar to those proposed for barbiturates and alcohols. Thus, miscellaneous agents of sedatives and hypnotics are broadly classified into three categories. Number 1. Amides and Imides. Number 2. Alcohols and their carbamate derivatives. And number 3. Aldehydes and their derivatives. Glutathimide is an example of amides and imides class. Ethchlorvinol, meprobamate, carisprodol, chlorphenicin carbamate, and methocarbamol are examples of alcohols and their carbamate derivatives. And aldehydes and their derivatives include chloralhydrate and peraldehyde. Here are the structures of various classes of miscellaneous agents of sedatives and hypnotics. Let's start with glutathimide, which is an example of amides and imides. Glutathimide is a sedative and hypnotic drug that was produced by SIBA in 1954 as a safe alternative to barbiturates to treat insomnia. It is chemically 3-ethyl-3-phenylpiperidine-2,6-dione or 3-ethyl-3-phenylglutarimide. It is a member of piperidines. It is one of the most active non-barbiturate hypnotics that is structurally similar to the barbiturates, especially phenobarbital. Glutathimide is prepared by an alkylation reaction of ethyl chloride and benzyl cyanide in the presence of a base forms 2-phenylbutyronitrile. This product upon the addition of methyl acrylate undergoes a Michael addition reaction produces 2-ethyl-2-phenylpentane 1,5-dicarboxylic acid mononitrile. The nitrile group present in this compound is hydrolyzed in the presence of an alkali to an amide group then upon subsequent reaction with an acid undergoes cyclization to yield the desired compound glutathimide. Glutathimide is a white crystalline powder and has a melting point between 78 to 81 degrees centigrade. It is freely soluble in acetone, ethyl acetate and chloroform, soluble in ethanol and methanol. Glutathimide has CNS depressant effects similar to those of barbiturates. The mechanism of action of the drug is not known. It is sold under the brand name Doriden. It is a sedative hypnotic drug. It is used for the treatment of insomnia. It is effective in inducing sleep that lasts throughout the night and is also suitable as a daytime sedative. Prolonged administration causes habituation and addiction. Coming to alcohol and their carbamate derivatives, the first drug of this class is meprobamate. Meprobamate is a carbamate derivative used as an angiolytic drug. It is chemically 2-methyl-2-propyl-1,3-propendiol-dicarbamate or 2-carbamoyl-oxymethyl-2-methyl-pentyl-carbamate. It is a carbamate derivative with hypnotic, anti-anxiety, sedative, anti-convulsant and some indirect muscle relaxant properties. It was the best-selling minor tranquilizer for a time but has largely been replaced by the benzodiazepines due to their wider therapeutic index that is lower risk of toxicity at therapeutically prescribed doses and it has lower incidence of serious side effects. Meprobamate is synthesized by the reaction of 2-methyl valeraldehyde with two molecules of formaldehyde 
and the subsequent transformation of the resulting 2-methyl 2-propyl propane 1,3-diol into the dicarbamate via successive reactions with phosgene and ammonia. It appears as colorless white crystalline powder and has melting point at 105 degrees centigrade. It has a characteristic odor and has a bitter taste. It is very soluble in benzene, ethyl ether and ethanol. Its solution in water or neutral or slightly acidic. It is stable in dilute acid and alkali and not broken down in gastric or intestinal juices. When heated to decomposition, it emits toxic fumes of nitrogen oxides. Although the mechanism of action of meprobamate is not known, it appears to act as a depressant at multiple sites of the CNS, most likely through the GABAergic neurotransmitter system including the thalamus and limbic system. It binds to GABA-A receptors which interrupts neuronal communication in the reticular formation and spinal cord causing the sedation and altered perception of pain. It has the ability to activate currents even in the absence of GABA. This relatively unique property makes meprobamate exceptionally dangerous when used in combination with other GABA-mediated drugs including alcohol. It is also a potent adenosine reuptake inhibitor. Meprobamate is marketed as Milton by Valles Laboratories and Equanil by Wyeth Laboratories. It is a sedative used for anxiety and insomnia, first made available in the 1950s when it became popular but which is now rarely used. And the second drug of alcohols and their carbamate derivatives is ethchlorvinol. Ethchlorvinol is a propargyl alcohol in which the methylene hydrogens are substituted by ethyl and 2-chlorvinyl groups. It is a member of the class of sedative hypnotic carbinols which includes methyl paraffinol and tertiary amyl alcohol. It is not a benzodiazepine, a carbamate or a barbituric acid derivative and its molecular structure is considerably simpler. The systematic name of ethchlorvinol is 2-chlorovinylethinylcarbinol or 1-chloro-3-ethylpent-1-in-4-in-3-ol. It is a tertiary alcohol, an organochlorine compound, an enine and a terminal acetylenic compound. It has a role as a sedative and hypnotic. Ethchlorvinol is synthesized by an ethinylation reaction using lithium acetylide and 1-chloro-1-pentene-3-one in liquid ammonia followed by acidic reaction. It is a colorless to yellow liquid and has boiling point at 174 degrees centigrade. It has pungent aromatic odor and is miscible with water, miscible with most organic solvents. It slowly darkens on exposure to light and air. Although ethchlorvinol's mechanism of action is not known, it appears to depress the central nervous system in a manner similar to that of barbiturates. Barbiturates bind at a distinct binding site associated with a chloride ionophore at the GABA-A receptor increasing the duration of time for which the chloride ionophore is open. The postsynaptic inhibitory effect of GABA in the thalamus is therefore prolonged. Ethchlorvinol is sold by Abbott Laboratories under the trade name Placidil. It is a sedative and hypnotic drug. As a sedative and hypnotic drug, it has been used in the short-term management of insomnia. Its use has been superseded by other drugs. Moving on to the third class of miscellaneous agents, aldehydes and their derivatives. The first example in this class is trichlorphos sodium. Trichlorphos is a sedative drug used rarely for treating insomnia. It is a prodrug which is metabolized in the liver into the active drug trichloroethanol. The half-life of trichlorphos is fairly long and it may cause drowsiness the next day. Trichloroethanol may cause liver damage and trichlorphos should not be used for extended periods. It is no longer available in the US. And the next drug in this class is peraldehyde. Peraldehyde was first observed in 1935 by a German chemist Justus Liebig. Its empirical formula was determined by 1838 by Liebig's student Hermann Felling. 
Peraldehyde was introduced into clinical practice in the UK in 1882. It is also called paracetaldehyde and it is recognizable as the cyclic trimer of acetaldehyde. It is chemically known as 2,4,6-trimethyl-1,3,5-trioxane. Formally, it is a derivative of 1,3,5-trioxane with a methyl group substituted for a hydrogen atom at each carbon. In other words, the methyl groups are substituted at positions 2, 4 and 6 positions. Peraldehyde was first synthesized by German chemist V. H. Wiedenbusch, another of Liebig's students in 1848. It was synthesized by treating or trimerization of three molecules of acetaldehyde with acid either sulfuric or nitric acid and cooling to 0 degree centigrade. The product of the reaction is dependent on the temperature, the formation of trimer is preferred but at lower temperatures around minus 10 degrees centigrade, the tetramer metaldehyde is more likely to be produced. See the reactions. Peraldehyde appears as a clear colorless liquid which is sparingly soluble in water and highly soluble in ethanol. It slowly oxidizes in air, turning brown and producing an odor of acetic acid. It is less denser than water and vapors are heavier than air. It quickly reacts with most plastics and rubber. Peraldehyde is a CNS depressant and was found to be an effective anticonvulsant, sedative and hypnotic. It was included in some cough medicines as an expectorant. It has been given orally, rectally, intravenously and by intramuscular injection. Industrially, peraldehyde is used in resin manufacture as an alternative to formaldehyde when making phenol formaldehyde resins. It has also found use as antimicrobial preservative and rarely used as a solvent. It has been used in the generation of aldehyde fuchsin. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the miscellaneous agents of sedatives and hypnotics. I will come up with a new topic in the next class. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.